Look, the Royal Rumble is right around the corner, and it kicks off the road to WrestleMania that's going to be in Las Vegas this year. But tickets on sale today for the epic event going down on February the 1st. Tickets available on Ticketmaster. What better way to talk about the Royal Rumble than to have a former Royal Rumble winner, previous winner, a multiple-time women's champion, women's tag team champion, Money in the Bank winner, surefire Hall of Famer, one of the founding four horsewomen that changed women's wrestling forevermore, Bailey is here. Bailey, how are you? Whoa, you're in competition of, you know, the last guy that just did an introduction. That was a pretty good one. That, okay, I think, I'm in you the know, ranking. listing all my accomplishments, you know, really boosts my ego. <laughs> well, it should because you've done so much. I mean, look, winning the Royal Rumble, I think for any person who enters into the WWE universe, has to be the goal because you know you're going to main event WrestleMania. But also the Royal Rumble, what I find is it's always everyone's like, People always characterize it as, oh, it's my favorite show of the year. Of course, yeah. WrestleMania is the grandest stage, but the Royal Rumble is so much fun. Yeah, I, I've, I've, I always think about that. You know, for one, like the Royal Rumble is one of my favorite shows. So there wasn't the Women's Royal Rumble, so it's not like there was ever really a goal of like, oh, I, I want to win the Royal Rumble one day. But it was always one of my favorite shows because it's so exciting, you know, that you never know who's going to walk out next. You never know, like, if there's going to be a new debut, if there's going to be a big return. Uh, but for some reason, every time they count down the clock, it's exciting. Like, it never loses its excitement, even though nowadays we see two of them. So, like, it's just, I don't know how to explain it, but everybody's in on it together. And, you know, wrestling's always kind of like that when you come to a WWE show. Everyone's in this together. But, like, it, it's exciting for us as much as it is for the fans and now that we have these women's ones and they're consistent and they're consistently stealing the show in my opinion they're consistently making you know core memories for people i think it's it's awesome to know that now women that want to be here can have that goal well and winning though the royal rumble i mean the women's royal yeah. rumble there's been several i think it was 2019 may have been the first one somewhere around that area uh, era but winning yeah. it, winning it that had to feel Cause you get the whole thing, you get the sign, you get the the whole celebration, yeah. and then now knowing yeah. I, I got this match and you know at, at this last year in Philadelphia uh, coming up, right? Um, I mean, it yeah. must have been such a great moment. There's so many emotions, and it's a whole thing of like, just help me get through this match and help me like, I just wanted it to be perfect, you know. I wanted it. I didn't. I wanted everybody to feel every emotion possible. Um, being able to point at that sign was so hard to do it with a straight face and not just break down crying you know uh and uh, and there's a cool picture that um somebody took with wwe of like me pointing at the sign which is you know the picture that everybody wants and the fireworks in the back and everything but everybody in the background was pointing at the sign with me and i don't know i'm sure it's happened before but i don't remember seeing a picture like that where everybody every fan in the back was pointing at the sign with me and that was a crazy moment and then there's the whole, like, once it's done, it's like, okay, please let me stay healthy all the way to WrestleMania. Like, oh, my God, please. Like, I didn't want to wrestle at all. I didn't want to have any matches. I'm like, let me just get to WrestleMania. Um, so there's so much that goes into it. But, man, it, it, it went like a fairy tale for me. Yeah, that road, that's when after you win and you don't want to get hurt, you implement that one bump max rule. Look, I'm doing one. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Better, better make it count. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you never want to get hurt. There's never a good time to get hurt, but then you really don't want to get hurt when you win the Royal Rumble and you're heading to WrestleMania. Not only have you been a women's champion in WWE, you've also been a champion for the women, um, whether it be pushing for the women's tag team championships. Um, and, and even today, I mean, I remember it after your WrestleMania victory coming out with the Jada stone t-shirt on to shine a light yeah. on independent women's wrestling, um, at the time, uh, what now that we, there's the introduction of the women's U S championship, a secondary title for the women to compete after, is that something that you would push for as well? Um, similar to the tag team championships, is that something you would drop in the ear of, you know, either triple H or Pritchard or anybody be like, Hey, you know, what would be really great. To have this other women's <laughs> championship. Um, you know, I didn't push for it as much as I did the the women's tag titles. Like the, those tag titles, we were at the door every single week. We had pitches, we had teams together. We were there every single week for months. Like that, I can fully say that we were. You know, like we're the ones who made it happen. Like we weren't stopping until it happened. But uh, with this one, it's more of ones that I would say in interviews, and that's only because I believe that we can carry 
a secondary title like that. I believe the division is ready for it. But I also wanted to see the women's tag titles grow as well. Like it was hard to say I want another title when I still think there's so much work to be done with the tag titles. Um, so it was hard to say, you know, let's have another one when this one still needs to be watered a little bit. But right now I feel like it's in a really good place. You know, uh, Jade Cargill and Bianca are really elevating those titles. And we have so many great tag teams that, that I feel like if the women get an opportunity and they're put in a tag team picture, they're really, their focus is tag team wrestling. And it's very different than singles wrestling. Um, but it's a very big, important part of the show right now. And I, that's my kudos to Bianca and Jade for really pushing that on the company and on the fans. Well, no, they've done a fantastic job with it. I'm really excited to see what happens with that women's U.S. championship. And as we know, the NXT women's division is on fire right now again. And it's Ooh. great to see. Um, last question for you. You've been in the Royal Rumble. You've watched the Royal Rumble. Do you have a greatest surprise return that, that for you? Is there one that stands out where you're like, this is my favorite Royal Rumble moment? For me, it was Edge coming back in 2020. Being there oh at the God. Minute Maid Park in Houston was incredible. Do you have one? Oh, uh, man. Um, so I'm really bad at remembering moments right on the spot like that. That's a very good one. But I think I'm just because it's the freshest in my mind, I'm going to have to say Naomi last year, uh, just because she's such a close friend of mine. And I know what she had been through to get to that point. And I was excited for her, but I was really excited for the fans. Like, I think they were just ready for her to for her to be back in the WWE. So uh, that's probably my favorite one off the top of my head right now. Well, Royal Rumble tickets on sale via Ticketmaster February the 1st. It's right around the corner. Bailey, thank you so much. Let's see if you can do back-to-back -back like Shawn Michaels and Cody Rhodes. Win them back-to-back. -back. You know, who knows what could happen, but uh, we appreciate know, you joining yeah. us this morning. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.